Meanwhile, there was Hello there, here's my commentary. Finally! <laughs> I promised to do it only after I get a reply from the German video game company about the internship. And... Uh, I didn't make it. Sad to say, but I didn't. They didn't like the perspective, regardless of it being almost ripped off from the original, and uh, apparently the icon and character were too round. I'm not bad-mouthing them, because maybe they do have a point, and uh, just have very high demands. No offense to me, I'm just good. They need someone perfect. But I slowly think I might never be able to fulfill their demands. I'll uh, likely still try, but uh, just saying. This would mean getting a job somewhere else. Perhaps not a video game company. Somewhere, someplace where overall graphic skills would be required. This, however, makes things tougher. I do not have a college degree and my range of skills may be broad, but not in the way these jobs require. I just happen to uh, not know the right programming language or just don't know how to operate that one Adobe Suit program that they need and so forth. This is the reason why I don't really have much of a chance here. Uh, there, I mean, <laughs> we are jobs. However, admittedly, just for the sake of my parents shutting up, I did apply for a college in, uh, here in Poland, and uh, I did get a, a spot there. I'm there. It's a computer science course with computer graphics as specialty. I chose so because uh, uh, to get uh, to the pure graphics based course I would need to pass an art test and uh, with six years uh, drawing experience I don't really stand a chance. Plus this computer science course gets donations from the European Union which uh, means more cash for me. Woohoo! Well, I did go to the office at the school today to clarify some stuff, and uh, did learn some new things. Apparently, there's upsides and downsides. First, the upsides. It's a course you got to pay for. Hence, it'll be easier as they are eager to keep you there. Two, I, as a person with already gained qualifications as... Uh, computer graphics specialist and the computer technician have way better chances to get an internship than others do. So uh, I might earn some even more, e I might earn even more extra cash. And third, not a single of the subjects I'll be learning seems evil. This means that uh, from the get-go I can tell that None of the subjects seems to be about hardcore hardware, but more about software, math, calculations, things I am capable of learning and understanding. That's very comforting. Now to the downsides. First, none of the subjects seems very friendly either. There is a basics of programming, which I'm sure I know after relearning it at several schools several times, but it's still nothing like 2D graphics, where I'm very skilled at and could with ease through, uh, just ease through right away without a second thought. Speaking of... Computer graphics will only show up at the third and final year, meaning that I got to basically hold out two years of boredom to get to the stuff that I actually care about. And third, the basic internship pay is not obligatory. There's 16 people, 60, 60 people in the group, and only 30 get it every month. Uh, 
the fact if you get paid in the first uh, semester is determined by the entry exam results in math. Apparently I did quite well, so I can be almost sure I'll get them. But from then on out, every semester will mean checking all scores and notes, and only the better half can get the money. This does worry me a little. I know the first semester will leave me with uh, a big chunk of extra cash, but what about later? I want to keep getting cash, having savings, but if things go bad, I could be running out of money to live for. I gotta hope there's uh, gonna be little geeks and a lot of slackers in my group. So, uh, that's why I will likely study there. And I'm not that heartbroken over this. Because I did talk stuff over with my dad, and he thought that we could sell the land we owe, which I was supposed to inherit anyway, and for it, buy me an apartment. Just so, uh, you know, I don't go insane or anything. You see, our grandma is moving into our house soon, no hatred or anything, but she can be as much as annoying as a regular old person can. Plus, the overall problem of her being always at home, it, uh, I mean, it kind of means uh, I wouldn't be home alone ever. Never. No, never at all. Meaning that I could, I wouldn't be able to record videos or anything. This would be deadly for me. For a multitude of reasons, but uh, yeah, with my own apartment, I, I'd be saved. Plus, the college is very far away from my home, so it'd be profitable for that reason, too. So, uh, to make stuff short, this is plan B. Not the main thing, but having my own four walls is already half of what I was aiming for. Not giving up on plan A, I still want to go to Germany, but it might take a few more years before I get that. Now, to the commentary. Sorry, it took a while, but I had to get that out of my system. The review. Wow, this, this was very special for me. I've planned it uh, for a long time, seriously. I wanted to talk about the series, of how much I hated it, how much it sucks, but when I got to it, it really was not as not that bad. There are a couple of reasons for that, but we'll get to that uh, once we approach the specific moments in the video. Let's rewind to the beginning. Zenif will rule did this opening commentary. I don't know him for that long, but we're kind of friends now. I even made uh, an appearance in the trailer for the new season of his show, for which I also drew the new title card. Title card. Neither proud of the cameos nor the title card, but he seems to like them. Uh, go watch his show in any case. I originally intended to also add a last time on Sailor Moon bit as uh, shown in the deleted jokes video, but I decided that it just made the start. But I decided that it just made starting the damn video way too long, so I removed it. Hope uh, you guys don't mind. And now our show. Oh, and uh, my new opening. I do feel proud of it. <laughs> I. Even say it fits more to what is shown than the song did in the original intro for Yu-Gi-Oh! Tag Force 4. Which, uh, by the way, I might be getting soon. <laughs> I will edit the footage a bit uh, before every new big review and... The next one might not come out this year. Be happy if you get even a Christmas commentary or something. <laughs> So, uh, now let's get to the sidekick. This was a very random and gimmicky idea, I admit. I let him be voiced uh, 
I let him be voiced by a friend of mine, because my regular professional male voice actor friend was very busy and couldn't help. Koomaru was out of all available, reliable and childlike voice people at the time, the one with the best English accent. But uh, he still didn't do a perfect accent uh, job, since he's uh, German. But trust me, comparing him with other Germans, he's brilliant. Kinda. About uh, the still frame animations, uh, I still suck at animation, I had no other choice, but some people do seem to find it charming, I guess. This video was overall a big mess. I wrote the majority of the script very shortly after my brain tumor surgery. Hence, uh, there's some mistakes and typos here and there. I also did record stuff quite a lot of time before I rendered and edited this thing together. Hence, I wrote something badly. I recorded it that way without noticing anything. And when I noticed it during editing, I seriously did not feel like I had the time to, or, or will to fix it. So yes, this video had problems. Recording was chaotic, chaotic writing, chaotic editing, chaotic end result. There was even more chaos with Lazar. Some did like him. Some people actually liked him. But he was kind of pointless in all honesty. Maybe this is what makes the whole video even more embarrassing to me. Uh, why do I need someone to explain stuff to? I explain stuff already. To. I I thought this way it would make more sense, but it really didn't. Sorry. If I will decide to use him again, it'll definitely be. Uh, I'll I'll make better use of him. Oh, uh, by the way, the restaurant scene. <laughs> People do seem to love this one. Be back in part two. Oh man, I'm so enjoying this meal which we received for free. I'm enjoying it so much that one could consider what I'm saying to be just plain old stating the obvious. Uh, 